this is this is a good one. These five steps. So in OSHA 1910.269, right here, it talks in, in number five, when it talks about your TPGs, you're gonna place your TPGs. Prior to placing your TPGs, number five, right here, talks about how you guys are gonna use your tester to verify de-energize, right? So basically, the, the steps are open, test, ground. Right, open, test, ground. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do it five steps. What we're gonna do is, first thing we're gonna do is take our tester, and we're gonna test it on a live known voltage source. So when we arrive at this location, we keep the switch in. We're not gonna get a clearance yet. And we're gonna take our tools, and we're gonna go to that conductor, overhead or underground, and make contact to verify our tools working properly on a live known voltage source, right? At the same time, what we're doing that for is because we want to make sure our head's in the game. So we're going to stay energized. We're going to be real. And Ross and I, when we get to this location, Ross is going to verify at this time that my head's in the game and I got his back. And I'm going to verify that Ross's head, his head's in the game and he's got my back. We're energized. We're going to talk about it. Ross doesn't like me. I don't like him. Okay? But that just doesn't keep us, that doesn't keep us from doing our job. I've got to watch out for him. He's got to watch out for me. And we're going to make sure that we're accountable. We're going to make sure that we're, we're watching out for each other. So we're going to keep it energized. Then afterwards, we're going to go ahead and de-energize. Okay? We're going to get that visual open air gap. We're going to get our clearance. And we're going to be safe. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test. All right? So we take our tester. We make contact with whatever conductor you're working with is called. We make contact. The meter shows us we got zero. Doesn't matter if it's horn and light. You don't hear nothing, see nothing. Analog, the needle don't move. And the, volt, the digital, you, don't, you just see zeros across it. All right, so you know you're de-energized. But then what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the tester again on a live known voltage source. This is another extra step, all right? Because remember, the battery test doesn't do that. So we have a three kV power supply right here you could use. And, and we have our newer handheld power supply that you can use to test your tester on a live known voltage source. Maybe you're at a storm or maybe an outage, you don't have a live known voltage source because you got to do the test to test your tester on a live known voltage source. Here it is. You can take it with you wherever you go. You see that, Adam? Okay. You guys. Okay, test your tester. Always test it. Because you don't want to, you want to make sure your tester wasn't lying to you. Okay, and the tester's not lying. That's a live no voltage source. Then now we can ground. Is that cool? So five steps. Test, open, test, test the tester, ground. And I think the regs need to be changed. A lot of utilities and contractors, when they when they see with their eyes these five steps they actually make huge changes in their work methods. And that, that is awesome. Encore just, just went through that last year. They changed their work methods, all their linemen, about 800, 900 linemen. In Texas, uh, that was cool, that was fun. All right, so test the tester. You can go to, here, this is 002 Lineman Safety and Tool Training. You can go to Beer Meter's uh, YouTube channel and you can get all these videos, safety training videos, for free. Some are the full length. Some are pretty good. All right. Then we got some short clips too. We got a lot of short clips.